Hello, internet friends. Uh, first of all, I would like to apologize. Well, then why is this camera rocking so Oh, because I'm sawing things. Okay, note to self. <laughs> the camera rocks when I'm sawing things. Um, first of all, I'd like to apologize if uh, the last couple of videos sounded off because apparently an external microphone only works if it's plugged in. So, yeah, that happened. <laughs> it was sitting on my desk. I thought I was talking into it, but nope, I was talking into the crappy internal MacBook Pro mic. So, uh, sorry you had to suffer through that. But, this is exciting because we have moved on to the fuselage, right? So this is the first thing you do, is you cut together these, uh, what are they called? Fuselage bulkhead bars. And these are one of the points where the wing is going to attach to, right? So you, you bolt, first of all, you cut them apart, then you double flush rivet them together, and then you uh, bolt them to the bulkhead. So, uh, as you can see, when you cut anything apart, uh, you need to deburr it. And I'm doing a quality job there of using the scotch bright wheel to deburr it. I don't know why I just showed the camera the... <laughs> I think I was trying to show the uh, rough edge, roughness, and then how smooth it got after the scotch bright wheel. Uh, and then there's also holes you have to deburr. And then uh, here is the bulkhead, or at least I'm trying to find the bulkhead. This is one of the other problems of starting a new kit, is there's a bunch of sub kits, and you have to figure out which part is where, without a real accurate description of what it looks like, other than looking in the plans and seeing the drawing. But um, when you're looking through just a, you know, bundled up parts, every part kind of looks the same. Thank you for calling me random spammer. If anyone has any suggestions of how to just tell the iPhone it's a spam call, send it straight to voicemail, uh, I would like to know. So, anyway. This is what you can expect uh, for the next few videos, at least, is just tons of pulling blue plastic off, or blue vinyl, and uh, deburring the holes, deburring the edges, just all kinds of metal work. Okay, so uh, updates for today. So uh, last night I was working on uh, the fuselage some more. And I got to the part of the ribs where I needed to rivet on some nut plates. And uh, so I had to, you know, go to my inventory list that I have a PDF of and look on there and see what bag of parts these nut plates are in. So then, um, you know, obviously I found the number and I went looking through my box of parts and I couldn't find it. So... Um, obviously I, you know, actually it took me a good hour to try to find it. I thought, well, maybe it's up in my, you know, storage, ceiling storage. So I backed the car out and got up there and looked around. And of course, all my bags of parts are in this one box. And so I looked in there and then I decided, you know what, I'm just going to take everything out and inventory all of that again and make sure I can, Vance has little tiny, like, inventory stickers on it. And so I put giant inventory numbers on every bag that are super legible and still didn't find the bag. So then I thought, you know what, let me go check one more thing. And everybody that's built an RV already knows where I found this part. <laughs> that's right, it was back ordered. So these K... 1100-08 nut plates, all back ordered. Uh, yeah, so then I was like, okay, well, let me go order them from Spruce. Of course, two hours ago, I already hit submit on my order from Spruce, so that will be here tomorrow. Uh, and since they're just nut plates, I'm like, you know what? I don't want to spend another $8 in shipping, so I'll pay for the cheap shipping, which means it'll be here in two days. Um, so yeah, then... I'll get those nut plates in, you know, maybe a couple days, two, three days, who knows. However, the post office, however long they take. Um, so, then I went to the next step, which is, okay, find these other nut plates. So then I went back to the box, 
and search through the whole box one more time, another hour, trying to find these nut plates. And then guess where they were? Yep, you know, they're on the back order list. So then I'm like, okay, well maybe I'll just buy these from Spruce. How many of these K1000-8D nut plates are there? 266. All right, well, how much are they? They're 97 cents each from Spruce. So, you know what? I need to figure out what I'm gonna do there because I'm not gonna order $200 worth of nut plates that I've already paid for from Vans. So, I think what I might do is just go through the plans and count how many I need immediately. And uh, next week when I have to drive down to uh, work, I might just stop, I, well, I will stop at Spruce and uh, pick up as many as I need. So I think that's going to be my, my solution there. Which, uh, and then today, you know, obviously none of that video is interesting, so I probably won't even publish that because it's just me looking through a box. And uh, next week I'll be busy with work, so I, I'm pretty sure next week we will be caught up to real time. So good job, guys. We did it. See you in the next video.